between uh, between Ramses and the other players of OG. It's Miro handing the tip over to the Seb. Seb will respond with the tip of his own. No See if OG can put up a, a bit of a, a nice tie here between these two. It'd be a pretty big win as well, considering how well Nine Pandas are currently playing. Yeah. They've been uh, pretty on point throughout this tournament, going 2-1-1 so far. You know, a little bit more consistent coming out from them. A few more wins coming out. Uh, just one win is enough to set you apart in the standings here. I'm sure Nine Pandas would want a smoother start into Group Stage 2. We shall see. Again, a rather interesting draft from OG. Uh, it takes me back, Mikey, seeing the arc one. Takes me all the way back. Yeah. I remember Motivate Trust for this hero. It has been changed a little bit, at least. It's not this hero that just stays in base and just uses Temple Stubbles anymore. Though I must admit, John, from the, the games I've had against this hero, it does seem really, really broken in the right hands. It's Yuragi. Take a battle hunger here from Miero. Not going to be the biggest deal, but we'll take a, a fair bit of damage. The battle begins. It is going to be a two for two on the banner rune trade. Electric. Even start electric. this time around. I suppose we will start with the mid lane. BZM going to be on the mid arc warden. It's going to be up against Kiyotaka on the mid Timbersaw. I imagine both these are heroes just going to be trading farm for the most part. Highly doubt we see too many kills coming out, though I. Suppose if, uh, suppose if Kiyotaka does mess up, the Spark Wraiths can add up to do a hell of a lot of damage in conjunction with the Phlox. But anything you think we need to keep an eye out for here in the, in the mid lane, John? Uh, really just probably the timing into level 3. BZM is doing a good job just spacing away. So for the Timber Saw, it's not as straightforward where you can just walk up and whirling death. BZM does have the Spark Wraith spam that can be pretty annoying for Kiyotaka to deal with. Uh, level 3 is maybe the point where Kiyotaka starts to pull ahead, or at least level 2 would reactive to have a little bit more region on hand. Otherwise, should be comfy enough for BZM. Again, if, if you do manage to cop way too many Whirling Deaths, then we saw it just enjoys the lane regardless, so BZM just going to have to watch his spacing, but, but shouldn't be too bad. Bottom lane, you're having a look at this uh, this Axe Batrider lane of Miero and Antares against Yuragi and Taiga on the, uh, the Void Enchantress. It's like a, a decently safe lane for Yuragi, but as the levels do go up on the axe, you've got to be very worried about that call to come out. So he does will have the time walk to try and take off a lot of that damage, as still the axe can be a very, very scary safe lane opponent to have as uh, as the face is void. At least you do have Tiger there, he should be somewhat lane dominant on the inch. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see how this one pans out, because it can really go either way. The aggressive timing here for Nine Pandas is also around level 3, maybe level 4 with a 2-0-2 build. Or a 0-2-2 build coming out for Antares. That's when you can run down a little bit more. Tiger has to be a little bit cautious. Bit of a chaser onto the Batrider now. Yuragi and Tiger Using quite a bit of time, but Antares is going to be okay. We'll have a look at the top lane while we're here. Ramses and Solo going to be up against DM and Seb. Ramsey's again having a pretty small time on the Morphling, 11 and 2 in terms of CS. Kind of hard to see him going down unless he messes up with the with the strength attribute. Yeah, Solo's going to be there just in case. You're not going to get too aggressive in this lane for the side of Nine Pandas this time around. I mean, a Pugna by its nature isn't isn't the most aggressive setup support, so it should just be a focus on farm, and Ramsey should be fine finding stable farm. That does mean as well that DM's not going to get completely shut out of lane. So it's a much better start already for the side of OG at the very least. They will find that buildup you'd want on the Beastmaster. And it does look like he is still going to go for the Dominator and the Overlord, which is fine, which is fair enough. And Timbersaw to an extent can handle that, but the Ancient Creep is a little bit harder to manage in the early levels at the very least. Bit of a pull here down a bot lane, Miero. Not enjoying himself against Tiger's Edge. Does have to just pull the creep wave to safely farm as mid lane. BZM getting much more aggressive on Kiyotaka, almost taking him down, but not going to throw any more spark wraiths out onto the, uh, the timber saw. Kiyotaka, props to him, has found much CS here at the mid lane. Has 21 and 3 on the timber. BZM not doing too badly either, though. 17 and 2. Top lane, a bit of a chase onto Seb. Solo. Doesn't have anything like Decrepify available, but does have two Blood Grenades and some Nether Blasts. 
Except just have to be a little bit cautious, but it's just going to keep kiting out solo. Now the uh, the micro here with the ball proving to be a very effective here with Seb. The key thing is you're cutting off the Wind Ranger from trying to apply more harassment onto Ramsey. So he's free to farm. He has to watch himself to 12 wild axis stacks, though. It's a lot of added damage on the axis. It certainly is. Solo doing a fantastic job still of zoning out Seb. DM is still finding the farm he needs. Bottom, Miero. Just looking to skip the creep wave now. Again, against Tiger's Ench. Tiger's being very effective at just making life very hard for Miero. So the Blood Grenade does fly out, but there's going to be no real follow-up to it. In fact, now the turnaround. They pop a mango here. Miero going to go for a call out, and Tiger will be punished. Antares with a very nice turn with the Flame Break. Sadly for Yurangi, he can't really trade with anyone. Nah, just focus in on your farm. You have to accept that the Ench just falls. Again, that's the level 3 4 spike we were talking about here for the lane of 9 pandas. You've got a lot of output in Batrider. You've got reposition play to lead into the call. Mir is, you know, having mana issues though. So you're not going to be able to repeat that. But down mid, you're already seeing Kiyotaka feel very comfy in that turn we saw as well with the Vanguard up. Just going behind a tier 1, uh, making it awkward for BM, BZM to find his own farm. And he's taking control in this lane quite well. Seb still being chased down by Solo. One more hit will do it for the Pugna. He can't get it though. Seb will win run and barely makes it out. Is now mid lane. Chases on for Kiyotaka. No points in chain. So they can control him up long enough. Kiyotaka should go down. More spark rates flying out, but now the rotation's in from the supports of Nine Pandas onto BZM. The old Uno Reverso card. BZM still surviving a little bit longer, but not quite long enough. As Kiyotaka finds a double kill. Onto Seb, looking for a little bit more though. Seb Ooh. does at least get on Tares, but my god! The whirling death damage from Kiyotaka just shredding Seb to bits. An immediate tip once again. That is that is not a good sign for the side of OG. Trying to relieve that pressure on your Arc Warden. We talked about the mid being the focal point here. An Arc Warden cannot afford a slower start. Even with a change in playstyle, you do want some initial farm and levels to get aggressive to really maximize that Tempest double. And it's a different toolkit now as well. But Nine Pandas with a punishment. And this early spike for Kiyotaka. With a Vanguard up, you, you don't really have the magical burst to pin him down. And you don't even have the impetus up on Taiga as well to try to find that punishment. So and the Timber Saw is going to be very, very safe up front like this. Again, you can't underestimate the output of a Batrider support. Even just running down like this is painful for Taiga. Yeah, Taiga. Not really much of a way out. Kia Taka's just got so much damage as the Timber Saw at the moment, hitting level 7. Outleveling BZM by 1. The side lanes have gone very well for 9 Pandas to boot John. Like, Ramsey's third in net worth right now. Second in net worth is Miero. So all side lanes, and in fact the mid lane as well, just going extremely well for Nine Pandas. So OG. It's going to be a bit of a recovery game after this lane stage, I think. Kiyotaka mid lane. Taking a lot of damage here from the Flux. More Spark Wraiths to come out. He could actually be in a spot of danger, but the Spark Wraiths going onto the Creeps instead. So Kiyotaka not going to drop. It's fine to just walk away here as BZM. Trying to be as annoying as possible, but the Tempest Double is going to wear off, and uh, sadly he finds nothing with it. Can't really just dive a Timber Saw, unfortunately, even with just the level 2 reactive, even without anything to mitigate magic damage. Uh, Kiyotaka is still tanky enough to last through the Onslaught. 2 to 5, as you mentioned, OG just looking to recover, build up some farm. Yuragi, I mean, he, he is working what seems to be a Midas. He has an extra glove of haste ready. So he should be able to try to get his farm, start to accelerate from that point forward. And again, this is one thing with OG's draft. If they manage to stall this game, would have faced this void. It's almost like the Magnus, almost like the a game with Enigma, where you can't count out a team with this kind of hero out. You see, I'm getting pressured again, though. He's trying to go for the double damage rune. Does have the potential to turn here on Kiyotaka. Antares is going to come in from the right side, though, and BZM again going to be targeted. But a nice Ooh. shackle. Sam landing on two. Kiyotaka, he'll just chain up to the high ground and try to survive through this. Spark Rate's coming in and he is going to die. BZM able to secure the kill here on the Arc Warden. And Seb <laughs> will hand the tip back over to Kiyotaka. 
Oh, excuse me, Kier Taka, Sorry, my apologies. Yeah, you have to watch yourself. It's Seven to Wind Ranger, and this is the guy who brought Wind Ranger back in meta last year after being dead for a very long time. Alliance of the Shackles. Oh. That one doesn't land this time on the tree. Miero is a pretty tanky target, but he is completely surrounded. Ooh. We'll go for the call out on Yuragi, but he will time walk off most of the damage, though Miero is still trying to man up, but there's the chrono committed. Yuragi able to secure the kill before he does need to escape. Here comes Kiyotaka now trying to go after the engine, does at least take Tiger's life. Excuse me, rather Seb's life as Tiger is still running. Tiger's gonna be fine. Seb will be the one to go down. But I'd say for the Miero kill, you're more than happy with that. You put a dent on the axe, you got a good use out of your first chrono. Find yourself a little bit more for Yuragi to build into here. And you start to punish a little Radiant's bit from the aggression of Nine Pandas. Attack. Nine Pandas still though, looking to invade Kiyotaka's spots out the stacks. Not gonna go for the clear yet, wants a kill. TM, the target here of Kiyotaka. Seb has rotated to try and set up for something. Thinks about Solo, does throw the shackles out. It won't last very long, but Solo's already extremely low, as now Tiger's rotated. Decrepify gonna keep the Pugner alive at least for a little bit, but in comes BZM. They want the timber real bad. Kiyotaka still going after Tiger, does help secure the kill onto the inch. So he will continue to chain away, but the Spark Wraiths are following him down. But he's fine. They can't deal with the timber. It'll be a one for one on the supports. But this doesn't, this really isn't too bad for OG. They're happy with even trades at the moment. You're more than happy just trying to recover from a rough laning phase and buying space out for your course. Midas does come out now as well for BZM on the good old Arc Warden. So his farm can start to escalate. If they've kind of still managed to hit a decent timing with that Arc Warden despite the slower lane. Although again, you have a solid lead here for the side of Nine Pandas. And they, for the side of Nine Pandas, should be down to looking for more. Shackle. Ooh. Top lane. Ramsey's receiving a warning shot here by Seb. Did get the strength morph off though, so it wasn't really in any danger. Mid lane, Kiyotaka. Start to push into the mid tier Ooh. once Aaron now Miro. He's got the blink up. BZM not expecting it. They will dunk on him. They might have a secondary dunk here on Tiger. He will try to run, but the flame break is there to knock him back. Miro, he won't get the secondary dunk, but it won't matter. They've got BZM. They've got Tiger down. And if they wanted to, they could stick around for the mid tier one tower, but instead they're gonna leave it to the creep wave. Because nine pandas immediately are just rushing up top. DM is scouted out here by Miero. Call is not out yet. Miero's waiting for the help. So DM forced to roar to try and escape, but you do have the blink up rather as soon as the chains forward Kiyotaka. They have no way to cancel the TP without Miero. Sadly for Miero, he could not get the blink off cooldown. Nah. Just enough damage there to keep him at bay. Would have been really nasty if you start bleeding out all of these calling kills to Miero. Stacking up a lot of armor. It's going to be very survivable up, up against the output of OG. Nine pandas again with a couple of good kills. Find themselves at 4k lead, 5 to 9. As Miero now rushing into the blade mill and travels here. Getting good clear onto the stacks for himself. While all this has been happening, Ramses has been left completely alone up top. Like, sure, he gets shackled up a couple times, but no kill threat onto that Morphling. Doesn't even have to level up the Morph here. Just perfectly fine farming up in this lane. And Yasha already up into the Manta. I think even even if you're finding these trades, you, you're not free farming as much as a free lane Morphling. I think that is a concern for OG. At the same time, you probably do lack a good jump to take care of that Morph. So maybe you get a way to initiate in here. Kiyotaka going after the inch. BZM is going to be around to slow him down with the Flux. Kiyotaka not giving up, but Tiger is doing a good job of kiting. It's Kiyotaka maybe going a little bit far, but has the life drain from Solo to try and keep him alive. Problem is now he's running low on mana, still very low on HP. Miero is going to show up, jump in his in on Zeb. Dunk will be there, so the Wind Ranger out of the team fight, but Kiyotaka's gone. Yuragi, he does have Chrono up if they want onto Miero. Raw will be committed first from DM. Now the Chrono comes in, catching out too. Solo, he will not be targeted as he had the Decrepify on himself. But they've still got at least Antares to chase down. And Miero is not out of danger yet either. He is going to fall as Antares could not kite out Yuragi. And suddenly OG finding three for the price of one. 
just uh just over committing a little bit too hard that's all off the back of trying to kill off taiga I'm very durable on that enchantress at the moment not able to rip through for kiyotaka and no, he, he feels durable, he is durable, but that is a very prolonged fight, just copying a lot of free damage coming out here on the side of OG BZM. And does lose a lot of HP on the main Arc Warden, but not going to be enough to melt him down. Ramses doesn't have too much control to worry about here. Although, that's close. He's falling well on the morph. Yeah. It's okay. We'll go back to the tier 1 top tower. We are looking at the highlights of force that last fight, and Kiyotaka just refusing to back off. So giving the opening for OG to go for this nice chrono here from Yuragi. Sending up on an extra two heroes. Meanwhile, live action, Seb is currently being chased here by Kiyotaka, but is going to be able to win run out of there. Miero and Antares looking for a blink call opportunity. Have found BZM. In the mid lane, the Arc Warden. Constantly the focus of Miero is going to take him down. Now they've even found Tiger. Lasso from Antares to set up. One thing is going especially badly, John, uh, this Arc Warden. He is consistently being caught. Yeah, VZM is just not given the space he needs to get that build up. And again, it's down to how this draft is built. You've got an Arc Warden and you've got to face his Void. Both of these heroes need farm. They're giving Yuragi the much safer farm away from the attention. And that is just going to sacrifice your Arc Warden. You know, someone's got to take a hit. At the very least, for OG to farm distribution, it's fairly even. You're not behind by too much. Uh, at 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 the least worst situation, you're about 1k behind these cores on the side of Nine Pandas. So it's not completely unplayable. But Nine Pandas are starting to get more and more confident with what they do have on hand. And again, they're just ready to invade. Blade Mill up and Miero. More than willing to always look for these call plays. Poor old Tiger. Not gonna escape the grasp of Kiyotaka. Down again on the edge. Just not having a game here, Tiger. Still trying to go for the Dragonlance build-up. Mid lane BZM being much more cautious. Hiding behind the tier 2 tower this time around. It's Miero. We'll have to pay a little bit to try and go for the dive in with the with the blink. Here, Taka forcing some rotations from Yuragi. Chrono is available. But you've got to catch Solo in that. Miero, he'll just happily jump in after the void. Yuragi, not gonna get dunked on. The culling blade was not there in time. The time walk was quick enough. They still have Chrono to play with here, OG. We don't need to overextend. In fact, Lasso is out. Seb on the Wind Ranger has been caught, but he will get the Wind Run off in time. Still alive as he does get a nice Shackles, but the dunk is in from Miero. OG, I need to leave this team fight B now. It's the Chrono, uh, there just wasn't any good opportunities here for Yuragi. Just couldn't see any, any nice angles and. And if you don't catch Solo on the Pugna, he, he's just going to life drain to crepify people. The Chrono will just be wasted anyway. Yeah. Leads to them having to play a lot more safe on the side of OG, even after the Pugna's gone. Nine Panda's just constantly staying uh, split up to ensure that a good Chrono doesn't present itself here for the Faces Void. So you might have to fall back to literally just even one man Chrono on a big core. You can kind of handle them. It should probably still worthwhile as long as the Pugna's out of the picture. Still, Nine Pandas dancing around quite nicely once more. They've got four stacks of called armor now on Miero, equaling to six armor. And, you know, if this number get, starts to get crazy, the axe becomes pretty unmanageable. What a constant damage he has coming out here. Oh, Miero. He's going to reveal himself to Tiger there for a moment. Won't bother blinking in for a call. Very tanky axe now with the blade mail up. We'll throw some stuns out on Miero. Shackle out as well. The axe gonna be just fine through it, not really taking any damage. Museum in the meantime trying to work towards those boots of travel so he can join his team anywhere across the map. Yuragi also taking his sweet time to try and get his own farm up, trying to keep up with Ramses. Lasso, who have they got? It's gonna be Tiger. He'll try to pop the heal, but it's not going to be anywhere near enough. Solo just draining way too much with this life drain to Crepify. And you are getting to the stage where Rams is getting pretty close to the Ags up on the morph. And that's a, a very scary time for OG to have to try and deal with. Yeah, and again, he has some pretty good targets to turn into. And basically, just a Wind Ranger here with the Ags is kind of scary to deal with. You just don't have a good way of piercing through that evasion. 
and the additional stats you'll have on the Morphling is massive. Heck, turning to the face this void before Chrono comes in, minus 70 attack speed, you'll do zero damage in the Chrono, even if you take care of Solo. Like that, that is yeah. just atrocious. It's pretty, uh, pretty annoying for sure. You know what gets me, John? Like, looking at the Ark Warden, mm -hmm. how is this not a universal hero? Isn't he, Do like, actually... literally the Jailer of the Dota universe or something? You're asking Ark Warden to be meta, Mike? No, no, I'm just saying right? by law. In fact, hold that thought, because Seb's in trouble now. Kiyotaka, he's going to cop the raw. Seb barely is surviving. They do stop the chains here from Kiyotaka, but he'll have another one to throw out. So they are trying their absolute darndest to chase him down. As Seb still will drop to Kiyotaka in the end. Smiley face is being placed here by the timber. <laughs> oh so Kiyotaka, I mean, he really just wants to give it to Seb. What can you do? I mean, uh, with a man as, as much prestige as Seb, he's always going to cop crap from the young'uns like this. Oh. Furagi, going to be fine. Lasso is out from D onto DM, and DM is just down. And Nine Panda's just looking so dominant again in game two. Because now they have a 10k advantage. BZM, still farming the mid lane, and you see Nine Panda's immediately just rushing for him. Here, Taka not wanting to leave this man alone. Haste Ooh. rune. Oh, BZM, he's not going to be able to get it. At least he will try for the TP up. And he's going to be just fine with that. He'll make. He makes it out barely. Lots of HP being lost in the process. At least with a travel top, he can start trying to play that split push. With the Tempest double. No call landing there from Miero. He was just off. They're BZM not giving lose that Tempest double eventually. And they're on, not John. giving BZM anything at all. Like they see the Tempest double, chase it down, prevent any sort of farm game. And BZM still he's managed to climb his way to number one for his team, but still not the position what to be in as well. Arc Warden. Smoke out from OG Uragi. And he does have the Son job. I'm surprised he opts for that first over to Yasha, but probably feel like he needs some defense here. And he could gun Dyer's for a kill with a chrono. On the side of Nine Pandas, so just immediately dodge. No forward vision here from the side of Uji to really spot out. So, stuck kind of scrambling. And the Pandas, again, they're fine with playing a little bit of a farming game. Because once Ramses hits the Axe, then... Oh, well, you've got some you've got some problems here, Mike. You already have the shard as well for Ramses to shift through in a stun. So even the Chrono is not going to be hard enough of a lockdown for him. Is that Axe you talked about? They're even going to start Roshan off the back of this. Hags up on uh, on the morph, Roshan to be taken. And you might just go for an immediate smoke after this one. The OG, they are trying to rush towards the Roshan pit and get there in time. Chrono is up to play with. Roshan, about one quarter of his HP left. I don't think OG are going to make it, but they are still trying. They are very, very close by now. But Yuragi, he'd have to pretty much dump it instantly. And even then, he wouldn't make it in time. There's now nine pandas, they want the fight. Lasso is out. Tiger is caught already on the edge. Tiger has just been bursted Ooh. down as Duragi. He does get a two-man chrono, but he has no follow-up to it. There's just no damage. Antares is still alive, and now that calls out on Seb. They've caught another in the Wind Ranger. Seb trying with the power shot. They will at least get the Bat Rider. It's a, it's a pretty tough fight. Even with the two-man chrono, just... Yuragi knows he just doesn't have the damage output. No. He needs BZM behind him. He does. He needs everyone. Like, you kind of actually need Tiger with the impetus shots as well into that chrono. So it's just not enough to go around right now. 10 to 20. Nine Pandas with the Aegis still up on Kiyotaka. Not much to be worried about. Look at Kiyotaka. No cares. Just goes forward by himself. Yeah, he's got two lives. Already struggling to him off once anyways. They are going to try it now. Kiyotaka, very low on mana, is trying to tank through it, but they have got him the first time. Now, we saw this before from Kiyotaka. He's going to be careful. He'll chain towards DM. Chakra is there. In comes Ramses to try and help out. Ramses just jumping right into the back, looking for another target. Seb's going to get a nice shackles off onto Kiyotaka, but he is surviving. There's now Miero. He's out with the call. He found Tiger. There should be a dunk, a culling blade to come out, and they will catch him. Three down for OG. Kiyotaka setting up a great fight as now they've even caught Yuragi. That's a that's a four-man wipe 
on the side of OG and nine pandas. They look like they might just go for high ground. Doesn't feel like there's much stopping them, even without that Aegis up. What do you do about Ramses? Doesn't care for the secondary life anyway on himself. Uh, what he acts? Oh no. Eh. Fall out. It's just the Tempest double. Not too big of a deal. But to be fair, PCM probably does need that to have any chance of defending. At least the respawn timers are quite low for OG. So they do have a chance to smoke up and be prepped for a defense. But Nine Pandas, playing very conservatively, do back their way up. Then no need to risk it, especially without the Aegis up, they'll just go for a reset. BZM just can't catch a break, because now he loses his courier with the ultimate orb on it. So no Manta for him, for another two and a half minutes. Manta being a pretty big timing for the uh, the new Arc Warden, but... Again, for two and a half minutes, it is going to be down. Oh, what shackle is from that Seb Landing from a mile away, onto two heroes. And he's going to catch Solo with that. A perfect Shackle from Seb. What the heck kind of shackle was that? That looked like <laughs> that was so bloody far. And that's that was just, a matrix shackle right there. That, that was just funky. That was a good shot from Seb, of course. A uh, kill is a kill. Very important for OG to find literally any scraps they can, but and pandas probably don't care too much. They back off. They teleport out Ramses. They go back to farming. They go back to taking control on this map. Some key timing still left here for Ramses. I believe his Scotty is being formed up now. So not too far off from that. Taiga? Yeah, he's, a, he's had a very tough game here. 1, 11, and 6 on the edge. And looks like he has no way out of this scenario. And Tara is going to give the vision. Miero doesn't even need the, the blink. Not even calling him, actually. Just chasing him down. <laughs> My goodness. I mean, that's just sending a message here from Miero. <laughs> it's always a little bit funny when you can get that done, but... And Tiger's at least getting in some information out, so letting them know that top lane's free to farm. They're fine, they're not gonna be punished up there. They can try to get some build up in some space, although they are just TPing up in front. And DM will be able to back off, but Seb is on Kiyotaka's mind. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Kiyotaka having such a good series. Almost the leading Seb top lane. Won't get it quite, as you're arguing now. Chrono out. He's gonna land on two, but again, Solo is outside of the Chrono. He oh, can just live no. train Miero, no, and no, Miero's no. not taking any damage because the morph with the axe was there from Ramses. So you argue's attack speed is just so damn slow. At least they might find Solo, and they will. The Pugner is down, but here comes Kiyotaka. They'll go right after the Tempest Double first. Easy and we'll lose that. But OG, they can successfully just retreat into the base. They'll get a Pugner. Sure, you, you use Chrono, you use some abilities, but you do hold out, and you don't lose anyone on your side. It's something. Yeah, you're buying time on OG again, you want to scale up, you know your face of void will eventually be a major factor in these fights, just not quite yet. And the more fags kind of ruining your impact there just a little bit. Oh, ooh. Oh, barely off the mark, very quick reaction there from Yuragi. 17k advantage still stands here for 9 pandas. There's that match style now coming out on BZM. Trying to get in the, uh, the courier back up. OG, I mean, if they can drag this game out long enough, there will be a stage with this Arc Warden Void will be a huge problem. Mid lane, the Tempest Double again. Looks like it's just going to be lost here by Ramses. They will just call it up and burst it down, not having any of the split pushing game. Taurus chasing down the ancient black dragon. Just kind of preventing the split push from DM. <laughs> Tips are out. There you go. The smiley as well. DM. Very good. No shenanigans for him. Pretty good sportsmanship. Yeah. When I say sport, good sportsmanship, I'm not sure if these are friendly smiley faces. <laughs> They're smiling, but I'm you not sure for, for exactly why. Yeah. You never know, Mikey. DM. Moving on to Antares with the uh, with the Tempest Double. Antares almost dying, but now they have caught out Tiger. Miero, no hesitation, landing the Culling Blade. And Antares, sadly for BZM, has made his way out. At least maybe the Tempest Double expires in time. Or maybe not. More gold to the way of Ramses. Lots. Well, not the biggest kill again, Tiger. 
Just buying space. They're stalling out quite nicely, OG. Although they're clumping out pot. Shackle there. Lasso committed. DM. Did roar up the Bat Rider. In comes Yuragi. Chrono is coming off cooldown and now is available. Antares, he might drop. Solo getting extremely low now. Yuragi finding two for their trouble. A two for two so far, but now the oh, call out from the arrow. God. And they just burst through Yuragi. Like he, he disappeared in an instant. That was just hot knife through butter right there. Melting. Didn't look, didn't look like a tanky hero at all. Just a few hits, that's all it took. Coming out here from Nine Pandas. To be fair, that's a double damage on Ramses as well. It should, it should account for a lot in that engagement. And even with her supports down, the Nine Pandas, they look confident enough to try to force something up into, onto the high ground. There is a Chrono on the buyback. They do want to play that way on the side of OG. They will lose their last outer tower here. At least as Kiyotaka clears out the Tormentor. We'll play it safe. No need to really rush in. Roshan, we'll see in about 10 seconds when that respawn timer is. It could be a fast one. Nine Pandas could clear it out and just go again. At least BCM is catching up in net worth, John. He, he's slowly starting to become a pretty big issue here in the Arc Quarter. Now, I'm not saying he's anywhere near the, the, the spot where he needs to be to make the comeback happen, but he's getting there. Maybe another five minutes, maybe another ten minutes, and you are at that stage now where the Arc Warden could just be the biggest issue is Tiger. He's having some issues right now. Chase is ongoing. Antares actually missing out on the edge for now, but eventually is going to find him. What? No, Tiger. Very nice position for the TP. Be able to go get away just barely. And all these little plays, like they are buying more and more time for BZM. That's what's very important here for OG is Yuragi. Trying to kill Taka. There's Timbersaw though, not looking to take any damage. Now has a full sight the Visa. Oh, more control. Smoke out OG. Might not have oh, seen that smoke. fresh sight. They've got the Glapnir up on BZM to boot here, John. This could be a nice timing for, for OG to try and make this fight happen. Jump in. Who have they got? It's going to be the Timber. The Kiyotaka, he's already popped his BKB to look to retreat. OG will wait that one out. Meanwhile, Miero rushing forward, looking for a call. Has found two targets. A perfect call from Miero. Ramsey's already bursting one down. A three-man chrono. Yuragi, can he get any damage off? Solo's just healing them up, but he's got Ramsey's down. Oh, OG. Making the fight work as Kiyotaka gonna try for the TP up. Thanks to the Decrepify, no bash will come from Yuragi. That's a massive, massive fight for OG. Finding the Pos 1 morph and the position 3 axe. And that's the thing now with the Chrono and the damage from BZM. Even the life drain proving to not be enough. No, certainly not. Really big Chrono, big opportunity for the Ooh, interesting lasso. Kiyotaka's gonna show up again. BZM gonna be targeted. BZM getting very, very low. Gonna get into the magnetic field. Has found the Batrider. Will juke out the Chakram. Moving back in onto Kiyotaka. He's starting to get low to the damage of Tiger. Meanwhile, Solo barely surviving, but no, the power shot sent from a mile away. And now the Shackle onto the creep, holding down Kiyotaka. But the BKB is Ooh. still giving, gonna give him some life as Yuragi. He is gonna drop. Buyback is out from Antares. He wants back into this team fight. OG trying to retreat are at least gonna be able to get Tiger out. But Nine Pandas still chasing for more. Kiyotaka looking for DM and Seb. He's gonna catch up now. Getting the hex off onto the Beastmaster, but Seb is gonna stay behind to try and protect us. Now BZM TPing in. Kiyotaka's gone too far. Uh-oh, nine pandas. Oh, boy. These are the kind of small errors that can be punished quite heavily by OG. Uh... As they are not slowing down OG, they want more. Miero, he's going to pop the blade mail. Shackle's going to hold him down. Look at the damage from the Arc Warden. The lasso, he's going to catch Seb. DM being chased here by Ramses. Seb somehow still alive, but should drop here on the Wind Ranger eventually. Meanwhile, DM trying to run does go down to Ramses. Now Seb somehow oh, moving back into the Batrider with the shackles, but the chase is on. Ramses surely has this Wind Ranger in his grasp. 
Seb, still trying for Antares. He's gonna run up north, but Ramsey's eventually gonna get the kill. Meanwhile, to the south, though, Solo is gonna drop to BZM. And suddenly, John, game two is a much more even affair. It, it is. They've stalled out long enough. BZM now number one in that worth. The output of the Arc Warden, just massive. Just can't sustain through it at all. Buyback oh. forced out for Seb. They want to go Roshan. Is okay. up. Should be able to take it. Side of Nine Pandas just down for a little bit longer. They've got the output here. Nine Pandas. Maybe over committing to the fight just a little bit. Not respecting that output on BZM. No one managing to jump on top of the Arc Warden. Rosh just takes no time at all. Jesus Christ. He's just gone. Aegis picked up by Yuragi. Along with a cheese. And this is what we talked about. You know, you stall out for a long time. You get online. Nine Pandas. They they take some unnecessary risks and well comes back to haunt them. Now you're in a really strong position for BZM. I mean you still have the scaling from Ramses, but man, even he can't sustain through the, the output right now of the Arc Warden. It's Arc Warden, Jonathan. This hero, no matter what they do to it, it always feels just busted in the right hands. And BZM right now is the one with the right oh. hands for this hero. Has the full Lincoln Sphere up. My question still stands, by the way, you know, lore-wise, how is Ark Warden not universal? Now, that I'm not true. saying that's what I want, but I'm just saying, lore-wise, theoretically, if anyone was going to be universal, it would be Ark Warden. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, Mike. At the same time, balance reasons, you just answered yourself. Oh, nice juke out, Yuragi! Avoiding oh, the call here but... from Yero. So the jump is there, the Chrono not doing enough thanks to the decrepit fight of Solo, and now Yuragi needs to find a way out as Ramses is on the chase. The Tempest Double is going to be left behind, though a nice shack was here from Seb holding down Kiyotaka. The Timber still going to be just fine, though, as they continue the chase. Yuragi is going to drop. The Aegis is gone. DM, he will melt to the damage output of Ramses, and now the Void being held down by Miero will not survive as the Tempest Double again. BZM trying to find some form of a pickoff, but ultimately will do nothing. There's three down for OG. Nine pandas, they will strike back. That's a, that's a big win. Taking away Aegis immediately from the side of OG. So now they can't find an opportunity for the high ground. The Chrono, not the ideal setup as well. Onto one. And even then, not being able to find Antares. Just not, not the fight you're looking for there on OG. A bit trigger happy with the big spell usage. Ramses? All by himself, but well, Easy. maybe he shouldn't Ramses, feel confident. be careful, sir. Ramses, be careful, sir. Uh, He's gonna strength ball. He'll move back in now. Onto the Tempest double. He's gonna make it. He goes on Taurus. Oh. There's your lasso. He's caught Tiger with that. Tiger, not gonna survive through it. Two down for OG again. Buyback is available on Yuragi if he needs it. But it seems like they'll let the mid racks potentially just go. The VIP is going to be forced out. Nine Pandas looking to set up on, on the bot tier 3 as well, it seems like. As Rams is again uh, being targeted. He's going to Manta. Will wave form away and is going to make it up. Ramsey's really playing on the edge here on the morph. But he is okay. Yeah, that's an insane amount of damage from BZM. The magnetic field doing quite a fair bit. That is uh, pretty ridiculous. Nine Pandas. They find an objective, but... At the very least, they find Amelia Rax as well, so it's not not the worst thing in the world. Just having a slight advantage in inside of OG. I mean, they still have this opportunity. We need to see that same good Chrono come out from Yuragi. Catching multiple heroes, giving them range for BZM and Taiga to dish that damage into the Chrono as well. And Nine Pandas just has to stay disciplined. Don't clump up. Don't give any opportunity like that for the big, for the big plays from Yuragi. Bounty. And just keep Keep looking for these one-man pickoffs. Just run and gun onto OG, pick them off when, when they're trying to farm, and the game can still be in their grasp. Yeah? Certainly can be. I mean, you see that graph just a, the, a little bit of a swing. It's Miero. Ball is out. He caught Tiger, but he does have backup. Miero dropping low, and now a nice shackle, even finding Kiyotaka, but he chains to the north. Still a successful team fight so far. For OG, so even the Hawk Dive's coming in, Kiyotaka just not able to catch a break. But they won't dive too deep after the Timber. It just feels like bait. And I think you should be very happy with the trap.
fate anyway, trading your uh, t your Tiger Edge for Miro Axe. It's gonna feel very, very good for OG. Antar is. Pop the uh, the boots of Bering. BZM suddenly the highest net worth on the board now is the Ark Warden. Concerning signs for Nine Pandas if they lose one more team fight for sure. It looks like they are going to retreat. Just TP out. Don't risk losing another fight here to OG because even with the 21k advantage again this Ark Warden, it is always going to be scary. Yeah, it's. And I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around its magical output. It's it's insane how much you it's get for that. I, I I don't know. Like I haven't seen new Arc Warden in any games I've casted myself, but I'm trying to trying to figure out the mats here. Like, is it because? Yeah, it's. Can I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around its magical output. It's it's insane how much you it's get for stupid. that. I, I, I don't know. Like, I haven't seen New Arc Warden in any games I've casted myself, but I'm trying to trying to figure out the mats here. Like, is it because Magnetic Field gives the full bonus attack damage even to illusions? Well, oh, damage done. Solo gets caught. Roar is committed. Antara is immediately out with the lasso, dragging back DM. So he's gone, but now a Chrono has caught out too. Solo does die. Mira with the call though, oh. he's caught two targets, Tiger and Solo and Seb both going down. There's nine pandas, they will rush BZM, that's the one they really want. And BZM is down, Yuragi, he's gonna get stunned. No TP available, he gets called to boot. No buybacks available here for BZM or Seb. Nine pandas looking to go in for a secondary racks now. Ramses, he's going he for tier fours. He's had enough of this game. He's had a fantastic series so far here. OG, they do have the opportunity to buy back on their void, but without Chrono, I don't know how worth it's going to be. They're going to give it one more crack. Ramses retreating a little bit, does move back in along with Kiyotaka, and that's Tiger dying back immediately. DM in the meantime, looking to die mid lane as. Antares will just chase him down, and Nine Pandas, they are still just going for the fountain as Miero is in with the call, taking down Yuragi. That's got to be it. OG could not make the comeback, and GG is called. Nine Pandas finding a 2-0 victory here over OG. You can't lie, John. That was a pretty convincing fashion in both games from these boys.